travelled overnight to Fatuhiva Island and we were greeted by a perfect day. We quickly got our gear ready and headed off for a fish. All the signs were promising, with lots of birds showing us that the fish were around. Little did we know what we were in for on this day. Wind one fast. As usual, Nikki quickly scored the first fish on the ever popular Nemo lure. Oh, here it is. These redfish were very popular with the crew as they are great eating. Yeah, redfish is good. Is it good? Yes. Man, that just sucked it in. <laughs> it felt heavier than the size it is. This is a real one. This is a big fish. Man, this fish is tough. It steadily pulled line off the reel for the first couple of minutes of the fight. Well, you come to places like this to hook big fish. And the first few days, we've had some action, but we haven't really got into some big fish. Now, this fish on the end of here, without doubt, is a good sized fish. Our crew said this area was good for jigging, deep jigging, and that's what, uh, we had some tuna jumping around. So I dropped a jig down about 90 meters, and that's when I hooked up. And I'm only just starting to get some line back after about five minutes. I've been uh, pumping and winding for about 10 minutes now. And I think this fish is getting tired, it's getting close. It doesn't seem to be doing circles, so it makes me suspicious what it is. Could be anything out here. got colour now, and we've seen it's a big giant trevally. I now understood why the fight had been so tough. Maybe 40. Yep, straight, straight, straight. Yeah. You eat this? Let that wait, 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 wait. Good giant Trevally. Solid fish. Well, that gave me a, a hell of a workout. It's a big giant trevally. We were in amongst the school of the elephants. I was expecting a elephant, but one thing that made me suspicious: there was no circles in the fight, and usually a elephant circles. So, and and it really pulled a lot of line, and it pulled hard, but it didn't go fast. And that's what uh, giant trevally are renowned for. This is probably the biggest one I've ever caught. It's a it's a big specimen. It's a beautiful fish. Not to be outdone by Adam, I grabbed my rod and soon hooked up on another fish. This one didn't seem to have the weight of Adam's fish, but it was doing some fast runs. Back there. 
Decky, as she coached our guest angler Peter and landed his fish for her. I was fishing hard knowing that there was a huge fish down there and it wasn't long before I hooked up again. Trying to keep my balance as well as keeping the line tight so not to lose my fish. I landed another beautiful yellowfin tuna. The metallic sheen and unbelievable yeah, yeah. colours are hard to appreciate until you see them up close. That's much bigger than the other yeah, one, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Brilliant. It's all go at the Marquesas. We're fishing off Fatahiva Island. Unfortunately, uh, Peter's dog tooth tuna fell off while they're taking photos. A good lesson for everyone. Uh, if you're going to land a fish, take the photos in the boat. My fish at first felt like a small one, but now it's really woken up. It took half a load of line, probably two, three hundred metres of line. So, might be a, another dog tooth, a notoriously hard fighting fish. And in 32 degree heat, you get rather sweaty rather quickly. Well, I've got about three quarters of my line back. It's coming in nice and evenly now. I'm going to need a big drink after this one. Antoine was at the helm and expertly manoeuvred the boat to keep the pressure on the fish. See colour down there now? That's a very satisfying thing when you've been winding in a fish for half an hour. We've been out here for maybe an hour and a half. I've caught a 45 to 50 kilo. Whoa. 
Petra Valley, and now I've got about a, a 30 kilo dog tooth. Watch those teeth, they can <sighs> It's great fishing out here when it's right. Whew. All the fish we kept were going to be expertly prepared by the chefs on Aranui 3 for the passengers and crew to enjoy. Our fantastic day's fishing was cut short when something went wrong with our boat. I was totally bummed leaving a red hot bite. Well, we're having a, a real adventure today. We've had a little bit of a fuel issue with the boat. So they've sent one of the barges from the big boat to pick us up and they're towing us back to the big ship. But while we're doing that, we thought we might as well keep fishing and Nikki's hooked something that's peeling a heap of line. We suspect it might be a big wahoo. There was a lot of weight on the line with this fish and my adrenaline was pumping and I knew this was the biggest fish I'd hooked all day. Just brace your knees against the side of the boat. Let yourself come to the side of it. And let your knees rest there. See how you can brace yourself with the boat? Yep. Well, he's taking me. Okay, we'll go that side. Go over Darren's head. You know what this is. He's getting closer. We're just clearing the decks now to make sure a wahoo have very, very sharp teeth, razor sharp teeth. So when we uh, gaff this fish and put it on the deck, we want to make sure that we don't have any injuries to our anglers. That's the last thing you want in a place like this. Can you straighten up my belt, please? Okay, here comes the wire. No, that's just the top of the lure. The fish is about 20 feet away. That's the lure. There he is. Down. Tell me what I have to just do. Wind. And when you see the swivel, you stop winding wind down. Oh, bugger! 